What's good YouTube? This is Mark Tune and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a line art with your mouse. Like there is no tablet and there is no pencil. You're just going to make use of the brush and the mouse to create your line art. Now you get to know if I'm making use of tablet, you will definitely see the pressure sensitivity. Do I have tablet connected to PC but I won't be making use of the tablet throughout this whole tutorial i'm going to be making use of a mouse so i'm going to show you how to create a brush with the mouse most of you might have know that and so on. like it's almost three to four years i make use of a mouse to draw apart from all this period i make a video on youtube and i make use of the paint too but aside of that there is no time I have made use of mouse recently. So once you open up Illustrator, import your image or reference photo you'll be making use of. I have already done that. I put it below the layer below and I reduce the opacity and I lock that layer and I create a new layer. Now to create a brush that we'll be using for the mouse, as you guys always know, I always go to this and new brush to create a brush for my tablet this time we won't be going through that process so first I will go over to window and I'm going to open up a brush panel I'm just going to keep it right here then I will go over to the tools and I'm going to select the leaves too and I'm going to make the leaves just something like this it's fine and I'm going to switch from black to white and take out the outline. You don't need the outline. I'm going to grab the move too. So this is what we have as the brush. So once you've done something like this, just click and drag it into your brush panel. Now this new brush option is going to open up. Hit on add brush and click OK. Now this other add brush options it's going to open up you can rename the brush if you wish to but i'm not going to rename the brush and the brush scale options you want to set that to stretch to fit stroke length so the longer you draw it's going to stretch the brush to that length or how far you draw so the direction i'm going to keep the direction the way it is then the colorization method, I'm going to set that to tint so that you can recolor it. Then you can set the key color of the brush, that is if you wish to, but I won't be setting all this stuff because I'm okay with this. Then I'm going to hit on OK. So we have the brush right here. And if you go up here, you can see the brush right here. Add brush one with the name given it. Now I can delete that we don't really need that so go over to your tool palette and select your brush too so at this point when you draw this is what you are going to get just this kind of like looking like a digital tablet stuff now you get to notice that since there is no tablet there is nothing like pressure right here and you can hear my mouse clicking as i do all these stuff so let's just see the line is a little bit bigger now you guys know that the longer you go the kind of like thinner the line it's going to be and if you go short you can see how wide it is so to go for this artwork now i'm going to reduce the size of the brush so let's see that is still big uh, let's say 25 yeah 25 is okay so i'm going to set that to 25 so now we want to start you just have to go over to whatever place you want to start and you start off with the mouse now you have to go gently you need to know that we are not making use of tablet to do this okay so
for the meantime don't really worry about your stroke because you can fix all this stuff so if it's not draining you can hit the a key on your keyboard to select the direct selection to and you can use it to click and you drag to fix it now for the lines which are not really smoothing you have to go over to your tool palette and on this part where you have the shaper tool you click right click and select the smooth tool or you left click and hold on your left click and you come over to this place and you just drag over and it's going to smooth the brush line for you to give you the way you want it to look so this is it i'm going to continue by grabbing the brush tool. So places where you have the hair like this, all you have to do, you just have to 
go over to where you pick your shape at to and you pick the pencil to now you just use a make use of the pencil tool to create something like that now first you need to double click on the pencil tool and make sure you check on the fill new pencil stroke so that when you create any new um shape it's going to automatically fill that now when you make the first one let me really show you something so let's see Okay, so now let's say we make the first one. I can see that it's not filling. I right? just because we have the stroke color selected, so I'm going to switch that, and now it's going to give us something like this. So when you have something like this, you can grab the direct selection tool on your keyboard, and you can use it to fix that. So you want to do this all around the places where you have the hair. So the places that you leave, like all these places, we're going to fix that inside of this part. So now, grab the pen to begin by hitting the end key on your keyboard, and you just want to start making some zigzag line, just like this. Oh, oh, this is not really going cool. So what we're going to do. We're just gonna take this little by little, so let's have to go. To prevent the shaky lines or the gappy lines, when you just do a little, you have to fill it out and you have to continue again. Now, when you are doing something, <clears throat> when you are doing something like this, you want to take out your time to do all these stuff. So it's really, really important. So, for the after part, you just have to grab a brush to and set the stroke down to twenty-five. And you want to start.
okay so for the eyelashes you want to grab the pencil again and you start now this might not be accurate but you have to take out your time to do yours So fill that out and this is what you have so repeat same process right here Okay, so this is what we have. Now you want to grab the brush too. And start making some random lines. So, so far so good this is what we are having okay so you can bring that back again and now let's head over to the eye grab the pen to and we're just going to make that out So this is what we have so far, so far, and this is it. So when you are doing yours, you want to take out your time to create a line ad. And something you really need to understand is that you have to make sure every part is really, really close. It's very important. That is, if you want to make use of Illustrator to do your coloring, you how to make sure that every part it's really really close you have to take us your time go back and check all those stuff so that brings us to the end of this video so i hope this really helped you guys stay calm and practice a lot and see you guys in my next